Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 15 must-have fall essentials. In the past, when I've done these seasonal videos, I've mainly focused on just beauty. However, this time I decided to switch things up a bit and I will be sharing a few things from other categories like fashion and home. Now, because the majority of you do watch my videos for beauty, I will be starting with that category and then I think I will move on to fashion and then home items. But before I get into sharing those amazing products with you, I do have a sponsor for today's video. It will come as no surprise to a lot of you that this video is sponsored by Factor. I am a Factor partner. This is actually, I think, my one year anniversary of being a Factor partner. Now, if you're new to my channel and you have no idea what I'm talking about, you have no idea what Factor is, Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals directly to your doorstep. One of the things I don't like to do in the fall and as the holidays get closer is deal with the grocery stores. And Factor makes it so easy to have these healthy, nutritious meals while saving me trips to the grocery store. With Factor meals, there's no prep, no mess. All you do is select a meal, then you simply punch a few holes in the plastic, pop it in the microwave for two minutes, and that's it. Factor meals are my go-to lunch when I'm sitting here working from home and I don't have time to prepare a big or even small healthy lunch. And Factor is also flexible. You can adjust your shipments, adjust your order size, you can get snacks and smoothies. So if you would like to get started with Factor, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code RISA50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. One of the first things you probably think of when it comes to fall and winter beauty is hydration. And in the fall and winter, not only does our skin become extra dry, but our lips do as well. I don't find my lips to be all that dry during the summer, even though I do live in a very dry climate. However, in the fall and winter, that becomes a different story. So I reach a lot more for my intense hydrating lip oils and lip creams. So I'm gonna show you three of my personal favorites. Up first is the City Lips Night Oil. I also really enjoy the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer and the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. All of these contain incredible hydrating and lip softening ingredients like shea butter, seed butters, and I think most of you will love hearing this. All three brands are cruelty free. Now, two of my favorite body creams are the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrating Body Cream. This product contains shea butter, provitamin B5, a 5% hyaluronic acid complex, and it offers up to 72 hours of hydration. What I like about this one, aside from its air light texture, by the way, this is the jumbo size I got from QVC. This one does not compete with any perfume or body spray that you might want to wear. The other one I love does have a scent to it, and that is the Laura Mercier Amber Vanille. This is also extremely hydrating, but it does have a fragrance to it. I find this to be the perfect fall, warm, cozy scent. Oh, it smells amazing. So in my opinion, you really can't go wrong with either of these. They are my faves. A deep conditioning hair mask is a must as the air gets cooler and drier. Something else that's really worth incorporating is a good hair oil. I'm currently loving this one from Virtue. It contains Virtue's proprietary hair healing alpha keratin plus three super oils and added active vitamins. So I highly recommend incorporating an oil into your fall winter hair care routine. One of the first things I do when the fall season hits is I change up my nail polish. I go from nudes and pinks to deep reds and burgundies, and I adore these quick dry polishes from Sally Hansen. And here are two of my favorite shades, 
Just In Wine, which is the one I am currently wearing, and Cinesnap, which I think might be a new color. I just recently purchased it, and I think it's one of the prettiest deep reds I've seen. I also like to switch up my blush and go from something pinky like this to something a little bit more burgundy or wine toned. Here are two beautiful blushes that I highly recommend picking up for the fall season. The first one is from Lancome. It's called Keep Calm and Blush. And this is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Storm. A little bit goes such a long way. And this gives you that just in from the cold, sitting around a fire, maybe drinking a hot chocolate or a hot toddy. And you just have that beautiful, natural looking, rosy flush to your cheeks. Okay, now I want to talk about two of my favorite fall eyeshadow palettes. I have one that is more affordable and the other one is definitely more pricey. It is the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. Tell me this palette doesn't scream fall to you. I mean, look at how stunning this palette is. And of course, Natasha Denona's formulas are incredible. But this palette also screams fall. It is the ColourPop Not a Box of Chocolates palette. And again, a beautiful mix of mattes and shimmers. I would never recommend an eyeshadow palette to you if I didn't think that the quality was there, that there was also just as good of pigment in these shadows as in the higher end product. You truly can't go wrong with either of these. And if you already have the Natasha Denona, do you need the ColourPop? Maybe, there are definitely some different shades in each. There are some shades in the ColourPop that are not in the Natasha Denona. Like this shade right here, Champagne Truffle, is such a beautiful topper over eyeshadow. In fact, I think, take a little bit of it right now on my finger. I'm going to use the Natasha Denona palette because it has a mirror. And I'm going to just place this, I don't want to cover my microphone, right in the center of my mobile eyelid. And I don't know if you can see that, but it just elevated this eye look. Something else I know a lot of us do when the seasons change, we switch up our perfume. I recently got my hands on one of the new fragrances from Love Shack Fancy. If you are not familiar with Love Shack Fancy, they are a clothing line for the most part. That's how most people know them. And while their clothes are very feminine and girly, which you all know is my style, unfortunately their price point is a little bit out of my budget. But just because I'm not buying their clothes doesn't mean I can't buy their fragrance and love their fragrance. They actually just launched three of them. I found them in one of my local Sephora's and I smelled all three and this particular one called Moon Dance was my favorite. And I do think this one is the most fall-like of the three. This fragrance is categorized as a warm floral. Its keynotes are Velvet Rose, Magnolia, and Sandalwood. Because I am horrible at describing fragrances, I'm going to read you what it says here. It opens with masses of velvet rose centifolia coupled with pink rhubarb, earthy oak moss, and dreamy sandalwood extend the overflowing bouquet all night long. I have been dousing myself in this fragrance ever since I got it. I love it so much. It lasts all day on my skin, and I'm just so thrilled with it. This will be one of the fragrances that I reach for a ton this fall. Okay, it's time to move on to some fall fashion. In the fall, one of my go-to looks is a bodysuit and some jeans. And these bodysuits that come in a two-pack can be purchased on Amazon in a couple of color stories. I chose the brown with the black, and I love these. I was a little bit nervous to order these online because I do have a longer torso and a lot of times bodysuits are just too short in the torso and they are very uncomfortable. These bodysuits are perfection. They suck you in in all the right places. You could wear a blazer or a cardigan over it if you chose to. Please trust me on this. If you order these bodysuits, you will not be disappointed. Next up are my favorite boots that I have ever purchased from Amazon. Now I'm aware not everyone loves 
a high heel, but this is for my girlies that do like a heel. There is no platform though, so if you find that you cannot wear a high heel boot, then I would simply look for a similar boot with either a lower heel or a flat bottom. What I loved about this boot in particular was the toe box. I like that it's not too pointed. It's just a very flattering shape on the foot, I feel. And then I really liked the side detail, the detail right here. I thought that looked really, really high end. I don't think that when I wear these boots, anyone would think that I got them from Amazon for under $55. By the way, I apologize if the lighting keeps changing. I'm trying to bring in some more natural light to my videos, but as the sun moves, it gets lighter. And then of course, as clouds come in, we don't get a lot of clouds here in Vegas, but of course, every once in a while, a cloud will come by, and so it changes the lighting. And I just noticed that the sun was beaming into the room right now, so I went and adjusted the blinds. Anyway, hopefully it's not too bothersome. But back to the fall must-haves. I was about to tell you about this handbag that I also got on Amazon. Now, unfortunately, the chain is not real substantial like a high-end or expensive handbag would be, but I don't mind it. I think it's a wonderful, practical bag that you can fit everything you need in. I believe this bag comes in a few different colors, but I think in the fall, most of us find black or brown or maybe even burgundy to be the most practical. And then another essential for me for fall is an abundance of gold jewelry. Now you've probably seen these gold teardrop earrings on a lot of influencers lately. They are inspired by the Bottega Veneta version. I actually own the Bottega Veneta version. I bought them when I was in Paris in January and I spent a lot of money on them. I got the sterling silver. But then I started seeing the inspired by version on basically everyone. So I had to order them to see how close they were to the actual Bottega earrings. The Bottega earrings are slightly larger. They're not the large size, they are the smaller size, but they are larger than the ones you can get on Amazon. Amazon does sell the larger inspired by ones as well, but I've only ordered a couple of pairs of the gold, basically just to see if any of them came closer to the real size of the Bottegas. And no, they're all about this size, which is, again, slightly smaller than the designer. But overall, I think these are a great earring. They're so inexpensive. They look good on everyone. And I just really feel like gold earrings bring such a lightness to your face. Now you may be thinking, Risa, what if I look terrible in gold? What if I have more cool tones in my skin? Then order these in the silver or wear just some kind of bigger, bolder silver earring because if those are what works best with your skin tone, they too will bring a lightness to your face, a brightness to your face. So whether it's gold jewelry or silver, if that looks better on you, just try some new things. Try something maybe that's a little bit more of a statement earring. Now it's time to get cozy. One of my favorite purchases from last winter that I cannot wait to start wearing regularly is this robe that I got from Walmart. This brand, Joy Spun, makes the comfiest, plushiest, most affordable, sleepwear, robe, slippers that you will find anywhere. I live in this robe when the weather gets cool. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if the heart one that I have is still available. As I mentioned, I got mine last year, but all of them are just as plush and comfy, and who knows, maybe they will come out with the heart one again in November or December, like last year, or it could be there now, I haven't looked yet. All right, let's talk about some fall home items. I'm sure like a lot of you, I love a good fall candle. And I have spent upwards of $100 on a good 
fall candle. But I'm not gonna lie, it does kind of pain me to spend that much on a candle. So I have been on the lookout for a more affordable alternative than say the Nest candle or the Voluspa or Voluspa candles. This one I got at Target. It is from the brand Opal House. And this one is called Fall Day. And that is exactly what it smells like. I grew up in Michigan and I also lived for seven years in Minnesota. So I am well aware of what a fall day smells like when the leaves have changed, when there's just that crispness in the air. One of my favorite things to do when I lived in Michigan was go to a place called the Franklin Cider Mill. If you're from Michigan, you know of this place. It is so good. The donuts, the cider. Oh, I miss it so much. But this takes me right back to going to the Franklin Cider Mill. I've been burning this the whole time I've been filming and the room just smells so good. And now I know this might be kind of silly, but I also change out my hand soaps around the house. This is the limited edition Beloved Pumpkin and Tonka Foaming Hand Wash. I also purchased that from Target. And I don't know, I just love the experience of washing my hands with something that smells really good and warm and cozy. So again, I know it might sound silly. I honestly really enjoy switching out my hand soaps seasonally. For me, another fall fashion essential is a sweater dress. I'm also a big fan of a jumpsuit and I've spoken about how much I love jumpsuits for spring and summer. I just really like to put on one article of clothing and be done. I don't have to think about does the sweater match these pants or does this blouse match the skirt? A jumpsuit or a sweater dress for the fall makes getting dressed for any occasion so easy. I got this one recently from Revolve and while this style might not be for everybody, Revolve has so many cute and comfy sweater dresses of all different price points. But you know who else has a lot of fantastic sweater dresses? Amazon. And I'm going to post some images of ones that I am interested in purchasing. So there they are, my 15 fall essentials, my must-haves in beauty, fashion, and home. Like always, I will have each and every product listed and linked down below in the description box. I will also have the link to the Factor website if you would like to try Factor meals for yourself. And don't forget to use my code to get 50% off your first box. If you did enjoy this video, I really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button. I do upload new videos at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me over on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. My username is the same on all of those platforms. It's Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.